Hi, I'm Rook Minnie. I'm the author of the Roasting Tin series, and today I'm going to be cooking a recipe from the Quick Roasting Tin. So this is one of my favourites. It is broccoli, uh, which you char in the oven with black beans and avocado and some really nice chipotle chilli flakes through it, and loads of lime juice and peanuts at the end, and it's super versatile. I would have this as part of a meze uh, sharing dinner with friends, or on a weeknight just with a bit of brown rice on the side. So, I'm always a fan of just shoving everything in the tin to start with, but I really like tender stem, and I think the texture is much better if you just tip a kettle full of boiling water over it first. This really, really improves the texture, but obviously if you can't be bothered with this, you could just use ordinary broccoli, it'll work just as well. Cover the broccoli all the way to the top with the boiling water, and I'm gonna leave these to sit for uh, just about a minute. So while these are steeping, you can get on with the next step, which is getting your onion chopped. So I'm just going to chop it really roughly into um, sort of big quarters. You're only going to have the broccoli in the oven for 20 minutes, but you don't want to cut the onion too fine because you don't want it too crispy because there are plenty of other crispy elements in this. So the onions are ready. I'm just going to pop them into the tin. And now the broccoli is ready to drain. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon of uh, chipotle, a bit of sea salt, some olive oil, about two tablespoons, but I don't tend to measure it, and the black beans. So I'm going to add two cloves of garlic in as well. I'm just putting a little bit of salt uh, on the garlic and I'm going to crush it. The, the salt really helps to break down the clove and then you end up with a really lovely textured garlic paste that won't crisp up too much in the oven. And just pop it into the tin with the uh, rest of the ingredients. So give these all a really good mix, and then this is gonna go into the oven for 20 minutes. You can see that the broccoli comes up beautifully green when you blanch it like that, um, so it will look even nicer when you come to eat it as well. So I'm gonna pop this uh, into the oven now at about 200 for 15 to 20 minutes. What I'm looking for is for the broccoli to go nice and uh, sort of crisp and charred on the edges and the black beans should be really nice and crisp as well. So while that's in the oven, I'm gonna get on with making the dressing. So it's really simple, it's just a couple of limes. You can give them a little bash if they're unyielding, it really helps to get the juice out. But before I cut them up, I'm going to zest them. You don't want to go too hard with one of these uh, zesters because you'll get the pith and it's going to make your dressing bitter. So just a tiny bit on each side is fine. This smells so amazing. There's something incredible about this smell of lime zest. I love it. So that's in. Uh, now I'm going to squeeze these. So it might look a bit messy doing it like this, but um, I know those fancy juices where you sort of put it in and then squeeze it. Uh, I don't think you get any juice out and this is very helpful if you wanna play violin or if you're a climber, good for your hand strength. Now you just need a tablespoon of olive oil and mix that up. So uh, you don't have to whisk it for very long, but uh, the more you do, it turns into this lovely sort of lime green emulsion and that is just perfect. So now that the uh, dressing is made, I can cut up my avocados. And the good thing about doing it in that order is as soon as I've sliced these up, I'm going to stick them straight in the dressing and that'll keep them from going old. So the great thing about using avocados in this dish is it's actually a vegan dish. So you've got protein from the black beans and uh, the avocados are wonderful and creamy. So you get a really good balance of flavors and textures. And now I've just got a few peanuts to chop to finish off the dish. About a handful is fine, and you don't need to chop them really finely, but they add such amazing flavor and texture as well as salt. So you'll, you'll notice I didn't put any extra salt in that dressing. Obviously you can if you want to, but for me the salted peanuts give, give you just about enough. So that's plenty, and I think the broccoli is probably ready now. Okay, that smells amazing already. Uh, and now we're just gonna finish it off uh, with the avocado and the dressing that we made. So that was all mixed together. So I'm gonna kind of just chuck that over the top. Just give it a little stir to cover everything in that lovely lime dressing. And I can see that the broccoli is lovely and charred at the end. 
just scatter over the chopped peanuts. So the peanuts are in, the dressing is all on. Uh, it smells and looks absolutely delicious and that is a really easy vegan dish that you can make at home from the quick roasting tin. <laughs>